Hey, this is Dave from Audience and Influence. In this video, I'm gonna show you what to do when you max out at 5,000 Facebook friends. Because you probably know this, Facebook only allows you to have 5,000 friends through your personal profile, but there is a secret that allows you to go beyond that, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's dive in. So if you run an online business, you probably worked hard to build up your audience. You want more people to see your content so that you can show them how you can help them and you can take on more clients, more customers. And one of the great ways to do this is by adding more friends on Facebook. The more friends you have, the more people who see your content and the more potential leads that you can bring in. This just makes sense. So it's clear that you want more friends, but there's a problem and that problem is that Facebook only allows you to have 5,000 friends. Once you hit 5,000 friends, you're done. You cannot grow your audience any further on your personal profile or at least that's what most people think. There actually is a trick that allows you to go beyond that 5,000 friends, and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna go over to my Facebook personal profile, and I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna show you here my friends. And you can see that right now I'm at just about 4,900, and I'm constantly bumping up to 5,000. And once I get to 5,000, it's true for me just like it is for you. You, you can't add any more friends beyond 5,000 but there is a workaround. And let me show you the secret workaround that many people are not using. I'm gonna scroll up and you're gonna see that this says that I also am followed by an additional 1,803 people. These 1,803 people do not count in my 5,000 max friend slots. So what this means is that I actually have an audience of 5,000 plus an extra audience of 1,800 people. And you might be wondering, well, Dave, okay, cool. How do you get followers? How do you get followers? There are three ways that you can get followers. The first way is when someone sees you online, maybe they see a post of yours or they see some of your Facebook content and they think, oh, cool, this is the type of person who I'd like to follow and they proactively choose to follow you. Let me show you an example. I'm gonna go over to Bob here and Bob happens to be a friend of a friend on Facebook and so I happened to come across his profile. And imagine that I saw, it looks like he went live here or there's a podcast here or something. Imagine I watched this video and I thought, oh, this Bob guy, He's the man, I need to see more of his stuff. But I'm not actually friends with Bob or maybe I've already filled up my 5,000 friend spots and so I don't wanna send Bob a friend request but I wanna see more of his content. How do I do that? Well, I can proactively go over here and you can see these three dots right here and I can click on the three dots and I can choose to follow Bob. What does this mean? As soon as I follow Bob, this is me telling Facebook, I wanna see Bob's content. And this is awesome for Bob because now he's got an extra member in his audience and he doesn't have to use up one of his friend spots. So this is one way that you can add followers to your Facebook personal profile. And to do this, it just means you need to be putting out content that really helps people who might wanna follow you. There are two other ways that you can add followers though. The second way is when someone sends you a friend request, if you choose not to accept or decline that friend request, that person who sent the friend request automatically becomes your follower. And again, this is a great thing. You're not using up one of your 5,000 spots, but you have another person added to this list, this audience of followers. And the third way that you can get more followers, so I already talked about someone proactively following you, or if someone chooses to send you a friend request and you don't accept or decline that friend request. And then the final way is, if you've maxed out at 5,000 friends and someone sends you a friend request, Facebook automatically adds them to your list of followers therefore allowing you to grow your audience beyond that 5,000 friend list mark. Now, this is all really cool, but I wanna show you a practical example of why this is so important and why this is so powerful. There are a couple of results that are gonna happen when you start adding more followers to your Facebook personal audience. I'm gonna go over and show you an example here. So I'm gonna take a look at this post here. Let's just scroll up here. And you can see this post here, it says, we did it, Lucy and I uncovered a hidden source for free leads on Facebook, guaranteed you're not using this, are you interested? And check out the engagement here. You can see I've got 239 likes, almost 800 comments. And I'll tell you something, a lot of these comments are coming not from my friends, it's coming from my followers. So one of the results as you grow your followers is you're gonna find that more and more people are seeing your posts. And that just makes sense, right? People who follow you, they've indicated to Facebook, they're interested in what you're doing, therefore Facebook is gonna show your content to them. That's one of the benefits. Another benefit is as these followers start engaging, so I'm just gonna scroll through here, and you can see all these people who are saying, yeah, I'm interested, Dave, send this to me. Any of my followers in this list right here who are engaging on this post, when they engage, there's a good chance that Facebook's gonna see, oh, this follower of Dave's engaged on this post. Maybe friends of this follower would also be interested. And so now Facebook can open up the Facebook algorithm and start showing my post to the friends of my followers. 
And you can imagine how this could work for you as well as you start building up your followers and they start engaging on your content and all of a sudden their friends start seeing your content. What can those friends do? Well, they could maybe send you a friend request. They could choose to follow you. They can engage on your content. There's so many good things. Now, the third really great benefit of building up your followers is that now you can get into conversation more easily with those followers. So let me show you an example here. Here's an example. Uh, Krishna, notice when I hover over Krishna here, it says that we're not friends because you can see that this button here says add friend and that wouldn't be there if we were already friends. Instead, you notice that Krishna follows my public posts. And so this allows Krishna to see a post like this. Krishna engages and notice that it says, I just shared all the details with you in Messenger. So I replied to Krishna's comment. Krishna was asking for something. I said, okay, yeah, I'll share that with you. Where am I sharing it? I'm sharing it over in the DMs in Messenger. This is really important. If Krishna didn't follow me and if we were not friends and I sent out a DM to Krishna, that DM would go into the message requests folder. Maybe you've come across this before. When you send a message to a complete stranger, Facebook knows you're strangers and it says, okay, this message isn't going to go into the inbox. It's going to go into message requests. And most people, if you're like most people, you probably don't often check your message requests. And so if you're doing that, if you're trying to connect with people who you're not actually friends with or who don't follow you on Facebook and you send them a DM, it's going into no man's land. No one sees those. And so by getting someone to follow you, in this case, Krishna follows me, I can now send a message and I know that that DM message in Messenger is going to go directly into the inbox. It's going to bypass that message request folder. And so it's much more likely to be seen. And so that's just another reason why you want to build up your followers once you cap out at 5,000 friends on Facebook. And now the question you might ask, you might wonder, well, maybe you're saying, Dave, I've only got 1,000 friends on Facebook. I'm nowhere near 5,000. How do you get to 5,000? And I'm going to be fully transparent with you. The tool that we use to max out our 5,000 friends and then to attract a whole lot of followers, I just started attracting followers recently, actually, and I'm already at 1,800. The tool that we use is called Unipro, and it's an amazing system that does all of our Facebook marketing for us, including building our audience, whether that be friends, whether it be building your Facebook group, whether it be adding followers to your personal profile. If you go over to unipro.com, you can see exactly how it works. It's been a game changer for our business, and I know it will be for you as well. So definitely go over and check out unipro.com and start building up your audience on Facebook. So that's what I have for you today. If you have any questions about this strategy, about building up your audience through followers, go ahead and leave those below. I'm happy to help out. And if you got any value from this video, definitely give it a like. That lets me know that you got some value and tells me to keep on creating videos like this. And finally, like I said, if you haven't checked out Unipro, go over to unipro.com. I really know you're going to love that. I'll see you in the next video.